Frank DeAngelis showed Columbine High School how to heal during a time of unspeakable pain. He's just begun his final year as the school's principal. Barry Peterson spoke with him. We're going to miss him a lot. I love Mr. DeAngelis. When Frank DeAngelis retires next spring, he'll be ending a 35-year career starting here as a teacher. But Columbine is no ordinary high school. It was seared into a nation's memory on April 20th, 1999. Two Columbine students opened fire on their classmates, killing 12 students and a teacher. It haunts him still. Parents entrusted their children to me. I felt I let them down. And that day I watched Frank run towards gunfire. English teacher Kiki Leba went through the shooting and its aftermath. Physically, he was fine. Emotionally, I was coming apart, and I went to him and I said, you know, boss, I, I don't know if I can do this. I can see the hurt on his, on his face. They stayed with me, and I stayed with them, and we helped rebuild this community. Now, the principal who helped lead the healing... Have a good weekend, be safe. ...is about to retire. Pretty emotional when I think about it. Why? Oh, man... He's just been a rock. DeAngelo's office is a framed shop of memories, from his early teaching days to the memorials after the shooting that brought President Clinton here, to the wall for the lost. A few feet away are the corridors where a dozen students lay dying. Those memories are finally fading. Now all of a sudden, when I walk through the halls, I'm not envisioning them lying in a pool of blood, but I am envisioning them playing volleyball or high-fiving. Near the school, a memorial for the 13 who were gunned down. Corey DePooter. Cherished his family, his friends, and his life. He just turned 17. Columbine was the first mass school shooting. Now there have been others. <sighs> Every time I get a phone call informing me that there had been a shooting, I'm thinking, not again. Other parents and teachers and communities who need healing. The thing that allowed me to get through this, I could not allow hatred to build up inside of me because if I did, it would just consume me and I wouldn't be here today. And one promise more, that even in retirement, they will be in his thoughts every day. Barry Peterson, CBS News, Littleton, Colorado.